Welcome to the new knee activation module. For this module, you will need a yoga mat, a towel or a pillow, and a chair. The purpose of this module is to begin to activate the muscles surrounding the knee and the hip. For the first exercise in the activation module, we're going to demonstrate two variations. David on the left is going to have a seat on the floor with both feet straight out in front of him, and he's going to grab a towel and wrap it around his right ankle. Trisha on the right is going to grab a chair and stand next to it with one foot on the floor and the other foot on the chair. For David's variation, also known as a heel slide, he's going to use his arms to slowly slide his heel towards his butt and then straighten out his leg gently. The goal of this exercise is to create some bend in that right knee, also known as flexion, and then also create some extension in that right knee, which is when he's straightening that leg. Be careful to gently bend not to cause any excess pain or discomfort. For Trisha's exercise, she has her left leg on the floor and her right leg on the chair with her right hand on the chair for support. This exercise is called the knee drive and the goal of this exercise is to gently create some increased flexion and extension throughout that right leg. Notice that all of her weight is on her left leg and her right hand and she's not placing any undue stress on that right knee. Both of these exercises are meant to create a gentle flexion and extension of that right leg without placing any excess stress on that knee. Great job. Gently go back and forth in a comfortable, slow, and controlled manner, each time trying to go a little further, but not pushing past the point of pain. Bend and straighten. Great job. Now we're going to switch to the other side. So Trisha's going to stand on the other side of the chair so she has her hand for support and David's going to flip and have a towel on the left leg. So David will start by keeping both feet straight and slowly drawing his left heel towards his butt to gain some flexion in the left knee and then straightening out his leg to gain some extension. Trisha has her right leg on the ground and her left leg on the chair, maintaining a good amount of weight on her right heel so that she's not placing excess stress on the left knee as she bends it. She's gently driving that knee forward in the knee drive and then gently stretching it and straightening it back, getting some extension in that left leg. As we start to reprogram and activate the muscles surrounding our leg, we want to make sure we're not placing too much stress on the tissues surrounding our knee. Continue at a nice comfortable pace, warming up the leg for the exercises to come. Gently slide that knee forward and bend and straighten out to extend. One last one here. Great job. We'll go ahead and put away the chair if you were doing the knee dry version of that exercise and have a seat on the floor. Go ahead and take the towel and fold it up so it's got a good amount of size underneath it and place it underneath your left leg with your left leg straight. Bend your right knee and get up in a nice tall position. The goal of this exercise is to start to turn on the muscle on the top of your thigh called your quadricep. We're going to slowly squeeze that muscle and tighten and relax. You'll notice that our models are placing their hand on the top of their knee so they can feel that muscle turn on. David on the left is slowly turning on that muscle and squeezing, but his heel is not lifting off the ground. And then he's relaxing. Trisha's completing the advanced version of the exercise where she tightens that muscle and straightens her left knee and then relaxes it back down to the floor. So at a nice comfortable pace, begin to slowly start turning on that quadricep muscle, activating it, and then relaxing it and letting your leg go back down to the floor. A couple more repetitions here where we tighten, squeeze, hold at the top, and then relax, draw it back down towards the floor. Continue at a nice comfortable pace here, tighten and squeeze, and then relax back down. A few more, squeeze that muscle, and then relax. Go ahead and switch sides. Now we're gonna take our towel and place it underneath our right knee. Bend your left leg so you're in a nice comfortable position and place your right hand on top of your right thigh so you can feel that muscle activate. Squeeze that muscle slowly so it turns on 
and then slowly relax that muscle so that heel drops back down into the ground. Again, we want to complete this in a nice, safe, comfortable manner. So if you're not comfortable, don't need to push it. All we're doing is starting to activate that quadricep muscle so that it's ready for some of the more advanced exercises later in the module. Squeeze and tighten that muscle, turn it on and start to wake it up, and then relax, control it back down to the floor. Good, and squeeze, squeeze, tighten, and relax. Keep going here, turning on that muscle, but making sure we're not causing any extra strain or stress on the top of that knee and relax and one last one squeeze and relax back down go ahead and grab that towel or the pillow and place it down on the floor behind where your head will be slide down and place your head on the towel so you have a nice comfortable relaxed position for your head bend that right leg and straighten that left leg towards the ground and place both hands down by your side now tighten that left thigh and lift that entire leg off the floor and back down the goal of this movement is to progress from the last exercise to increase activation of your quadricep muscle. So you'll notice that they tighten the left thigh, squeeze that muscle, and then lift that entire leg off the ground, and then they'll lower it back down to the ground. David is completing a modified version of this and lifting it halfway up his right shin before he lowers back down to the ground, while Trisha is completing the full exercise, lifting the leg all the way up to the top of her le right leg and then lowering back down to the floor. Each time before you lift, squeeze that muscle to activate that quadricep, lift all the way up, hold at the top, and then lower. Continue at a nice comfortable pace, beginning to activate that left quadricep muscle and prepare it for the more vigorous activities later in the module. Great job here. Tighten that thigh, lift the leg off the ground, hold for a second, and back down. One last one, tighten and lift, and back down. Great, now we're gonna switch sides. So bend that left leg, straighten out that right leg, and complete the same exercise. So tighten that right quadricep, lift that leg all the way up off the ground, lower back down to the floor. Continue at a nice comfortable pace where you're squeezing that muscle and lifting the leg, and then completely relaxing when you get back down to the floor. Great job. Remember, the goal of this exercise is to turn on that quadricep muscle and prepare it for more exercises coming up, but we don't want to cause any extra pain or stress on top of that knee. So if you're feeling any discomfort, go ahead and decrease the range that you're going through with your leg. Tighten that leg, lift it up off the ground, hold for a second at the top, and then lower back down to the floor. Lift and hold back down and lift hold at the very top and relax back down tighten squeeze and relax great job go ahead and take that pillow out from underneath your head and roll onto your left side fold the pillow or towel so you have some extra support and lay on that towel on your left side while bending your left elbow and shoulder so it's in a nice comfortable position. Place your right hand on top of your hip with your knees bent and slowly start to begin to lift that right knee and then lower it back down to the ground. This exercise is called a side lying clam and the goal is to begin to turn on that glute muscle in the back of your hip. You'll notice that David is leaning back as he's doing the exercise and we're going to correct him and have him slowly start to lean forward and keep his hips stacked on top of one another. So he'll keep his hand on top of his hip, stack his hips, and make sure he's not leaning back as he lifts his right leg off the ground. We're going to lift that right leg up, hold it at the top for a second while we squeeze that right glute muscle, and then lower it back down to the ground. In the last few exercises, we were activating the quad muscle in the front of the thigh, now we want to turn our attention to the back of the hip to begin to prepare the leg for more functional activities like walking or squatting. So lift that right leg off the ground, hold for a second at the top, and then lower it back down. And lift, squeeze that muscle, get some good activation, 
and then relax back down. Good, one more, lift, squeeze, relax, and come back down. Good, now we're gonna try the other leg. So go ahead and flip over to your right side, place the towel or pillow underneath your head, put your right shoulder and elbow in a comfortable position, and place your left hand on top of your hip. Bend your knees and begin that same movement by lifting your left knee off the ground, holding at the top, and coming back down. Again, you'll notice that David is leaning back, causing a little bit of torsion through his spine. So we just want to correct that by having him stack his hips on top of each other and begin to correct the exercise. That looks much better. You'll notice that his hip stays on top of one another and his hand stays on top of his hip for guidance. He's slowly lifting his left knee off the ground and then lowering back down and controlling. Continue here at a nice comfortable pace. Lift that knee, squeeze that left glute muscle, hold, and then relax back down. Good, keep going here, lift, squeeze, and relax back down. There should be no pain or stress on your knee, and if there is, make sure you're going through a smaller range of motion in a more controlled manner. Lift that knee, squeeze that left glute muscle, and relax back down. Last one here, lift to the top, hold, and come down, relax. Good job. Now we're gonna go ahead and lay on our back. So grab that towel or the pillow and place it on the top of your mat. Lay flat on your back with both knees bent. Both hands will be placed on the floor and slide your heels towards your butt. The goal of this exercise is to start to begin to turn on that glute muscle more. So we're gonna squeeze that glute, lift both of our hips off the ground, and then slowly lower back down. Stay nice and controlled. Remember not to place too much stress or strain on the top of that knee. Lift only to where it's comfortable. Hold for a second and relax. You'll notice that David is only slightly bending his hip, lifting it just barely off the ground and then lowering back to the floor while Trisha is completing a full bridge, lifting to both her hips so her pelvis is in a neutral position at the top and back down. Turning on our glute muscles are gonna be key to walking, squatting, and most of our functional upright activities. So during this activation sequence, we wanna make sure that we're turning them on, feeling them turn on, and then also feeling them relax. Keep a nice controlled pattern, squeeze, lift up, hold for a second, lower back down to the ground. Great job, squeeze, lift, and lower back to the floor. One last one, squeeze those glutes, lift both your hips off the floor, and lower back to the floor. Good, go ahead and come up to a seated position. Place your towel or pillow off to the side, and let's grab our chair. Have a seat in the middle of your chair Slightly scooch forward so your hips are comfortable and your feet are about shoulder width apart. Now we're going to start to activate our feet and begin to start to prepare ourselves for more functional upright positions. Bring both your knees to the left and to the right. Imagine like you're skiing. We're going to slowly mobilize our feet and our knee in a gentle side to side position. Making sure that we're moving through a pain free comfortable range. As you move to one side, you're going to collapse the arch on one foot and create an arch on the other side, and then the opposite on the other leg. Gently move side to side, slowly, comfortably, and begin to turn on those feet and activate your knee and your foot and ankle complex. Great work. Keep going side to side in a nice controlled manner. Great, now bring your right foot six inches forward and bring your left foot back just slightly. We're gonna be in a staggered position, but now we're gonna complete the exact same exercise. You'll notice that David on the left has his hand on the chair for support. Make sure you're always supported and stable throughout any of the exercises throughout all the modules. Trisha has her hand on her knees to place a little bit more stress on the feet and ankle. She's gently moving her foot side to side, relaxing her toes, allowing the ankle to collapse and form an arch. We're gonna keep going side to side in a controlled manner, 
protecting our knee, but slowly starting to introduce some side to side movement. Great work. Now stagger your feet the other way. So bring your left leg forward and bring your right leg back and start by moving your knees to the left and then move your knees to the right. If you feel more comfortable, begin to slowly start to bring the knees farther and farther, making sure not to place any excess strain on your knees. Relax the toes and relax the foot and allow it to begin to form to the floor and arch up off the ground. Keep going side to side in a nice controlled manner. Great work. Good. Go ahead and stand up and place your chair off to the side and come to a standing position in the middle of your mat. David's going to place his hands on his hips for support and he's going to take a step forward and slowly dive his knee down into the ground and then come back. He's going to keep his feet there while Trisha takes a step forward, dives her knee down and in and brings it back, except Trisha's going to return to her original position. You'll notice that the difference in these exercises are varying degrees of difficulty for your balance. So David's slowly shifting his weight onto his right leg, collapsing the arch, and then straightening his leg, while Trisha stepping forward, collapsing her arch, and then returning. The goal of this exercise is to teach that right leg how to begin to accept weight in a standing, walking position. Now we're going to switch sides. So David's going to place his left leg forward, shift his weight onto his left leg, and then return, while Trisha stepping forward, collapsing that arch, and then returning back to her original position. Accepting weight onto our left leg is a key factor in preparing ourselves for walking. Step, collapse that arch, bend that knee slightly, and then return to your starting position. Last one here, collapse the arch and return and relax. Good, go ahead and return back to your mat with both feet right next to each other. Now we're gonna go in a staggered position. So place your right foot slightly in front of your left. Make sure you're nice and comfortable. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna push our hips straight back, keeping our knees straight, and then push our hips straight forward. Notice that David has his hands on his hips for balance while Trisha is using her arms for increased momentum. The goal of this exercise is to start to mobilize your hip in an upright position and prepare it for the activities it's going to experience in walking and moving. Push that hip all the way back, feel a stretch on the back of your legs. Push that hip all the way forward, feel a stretch on the front of your hips. Keep going here at a nice comfortable pace, really pushing those hips farther and farther each time. Great job. Now we're going to go side to side. So keep your feet exactly where they were and push your hips from left to right. Back to neutral and then all the way out to the right and back to neutral. Again, you'll notice that David has his hands for support and he's not going quite as far to make sure he's not challenging his balance too much. Trish is using her hands and driving her hips a little farther each time and creating increased demand on her balance. Keep pushing your hips side to side. Begin to activate the outside of your hips, your knees, and your feet. This exercise is a progression of some of the exercises we were doing before, and it's a great movement progression for walking. Now we're going to go in circles. So with your hands on your hips, you're going to turn over your left shoulder and come back to neutral, and then turn over your right shoulder and come back to neutral. Make sure you stay nice and upright and tall and you're not torquing through your back. As we move from left to right, you'll notice that the feet will want to collapse and create an arch. Your knees will be rotating from side to side. And more than anything, your pelvis is going to start to open up and create some range of motion and space. Great job. Turn over your left shoulder and turn over your right shoulder. Last one, over your left shoulder and over your right shoulder. Great job, guys. Now we're going to stagger our feet the opposite direction and complete those same exercises. So bring your left foot forward, your right foot back, 
Keep your knees straight and start by pushing your hips all the way back and then pushing your hips all the way forward. As we push our hips back, you may feel a stretch or a pull on the back of your legs. And as you push your hips forward, you may feel a stretch on the front of your hip. The goal is to try and go a little farther each time, making sure we're not placing too much stress or strain on any part of your body. There should be no pain involved, just a gentle stretch. Great job with the movements. One last one. Push that hip all the way back. Get a good stretch. Push that hip forward. Move those hips. Great. Now we're going to go side to side. So start by pushing your hip all the way out to the left. And then pushing your hips all the way out to the right. The seated exercises we did previously where we were mobilizing our ankles have prepared us to be able to move a little farther with our hips in this exercise. Maintain your hands on your hips like David if you want some increased balance and drop your hands down and sway them side to side if you want to challenge your balance like Trisha is doing here. Great job. We're moving at a nice, slow, comfortable pace. And keep mobilizing our hips, creating more room for our hips, our knees, and our ankles. We're going to finish with our turning exercise. So turn over your left shoulder and turn over your right shoulder. You'll notice that neither model is trying to gain more range of motion by torquing through their spine. Maintaining a safe, control, healthy lower back is going to be essential to our hip and our knee. Turn from side to side in a nice controlled manner. Noticing that the ankle may want to collapse on one side and create an arch on the other side as you twist from side to side. The knee may want to dive down and in on one side. And the hips are going to move from side to side as well. Great job. Return back to center and you've now completed the activation module.